Hey, what's up you guys? It's Ethan, and by the title of this video, you're probably like, wait, what? What? Huh? <laughs> Did you kill a poor, rare, innocent panda bear? Yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, close. Maybe. No, no, I don't know. Just wait to the end of the video. But Ethan, do you live near pandas? No! Sorry, that was really loud. My bad. This video actually happened literally like two weeks ago, like on Wednesday. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so of course I had to share it with you guys, right? I mean, this was on Valentine's Day, right? And I was hanging out with my girlfriend and her parents and stuff at their house. And uh, I had to leave for my church small group. I have like a small group that meets every Wednesday night. So I was like, okay, you know, I probably better go. So I, I go. I gotta come up with better ways to word things. <laughs> From her house, it was like maybe a 30 minute, 20 minute drive to my small group house that we meet at. And literally, I drive like 30 minutes to town every day. So that's not that big of a deal to me. I mean, people are really whiny about commuting. Like, oh my god, <laughs> 30 minutes away. Chill, people. It's not that far. Mini rant out of the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know you are. The way that I would have been going to the small group is completely opposite from the way that I would be going from my house. So I've never really gone the way that my dad told me to go this way. And I don't normally use GPS a lot, like I always know where I'm going most of the time. But anyway, this time I like typed in her address before I left to like see the roads. And um, oh my gosh, so it like popped up three different ways. The way that my dad told me to go, which, listen to your parents children, please, just please. <laughs> so. And then there was like this other one that was like kind of out of the way, so I was like, you know, that one's out of the picture. And there was this one, and it was like only you only had to get on like three roads to get there. And um, it would have saved like five more minutes of my trip or whatever. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna go down that one instead. I mean, it would be easy. I only have to remember to turn on three roads. Like, there we go. I could go on that one. I'm sure it wouldn't be that big of a deal if I like don't go the way my dad's telling me to go and go my own way. I gotta go my own way. Sorry, I just, <clears throat> High School Musical, two or three or whenever that was. I don't remember. It's two. It's two. Wait, no, maybe not. Never mind. I like turn off the GPS because psh, who needs those? Apparently everybody, except for me. Cause I'm just that cool. So, I am off. I leave her neighborhood, then, um, you know, it comes time for me to turn on this road, I'm like, okay, I totally know where I'm going, this is great, and, I don't know, the time zone that I'm in now, it, like, gets really, really, really dark fast, and my small group, it starts at, like, 7, right? So, it starts getting dark at about, like, 6-ish, 5.30, like, whatever, you know, it's going down <laughs> so it was really dark and I live around like you know towns and stuff but I also live like around a lot of country like countryside like stuff like that so all of the roads are really 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 dark they don't have any like street lights or anything and um, <clears throat> stuff like that so I'm just chugging along one of these roads and one of them I had never been on before and you'll find out what happens if you can't tell from the title. <laughs> and um, one of these roads like I had never really been on before but like I'd seen it before so I wasn't worried you know. And um, so I'm just chugging along or whatever and in the distance obviously my headlights are on because like you can't see. <laughs> so I see this like weird little creature moving around in the distance like off the side of the road on my side of the road and I was like what the heck is that like 
So obviously like I slowed down a little bit. There was no one behind me. I was like the only person on this road. It was like something out of a horror film, you know? <laughs> Typical life of Ethan. So, you know, I'm getting like closer to where I thought I saw that weird little like creature thing. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe it was nothing. So then like, I just, you know, I look towards the woods. I don't see anything. And right when I'm starting to drive like past where I thought it was, this ginormous bear bear decides to slam onto my hood and hit my window and I just see this giant bear head like slam onto my window from the passenger side I screamed like a freaking little girl so I stop really fast and I'm thinking oh my god I just killed a bear it's gonna eat me like I don't know what's happening anymore. I just wanted to like cry, pee, then die. Like, mm -mm. I like drive up a little bit because it like went off the hood. So I was like, okay, like, and then I was really worried. Like, oh my God, my car is like gonna be totaled or something. And um, so I drive up and I look in the rear view mirror, you guys, when I press the brakes. <laughs> I can't, I can't even right now, I just can't. Okay, so it was one of those like realistic looking life-size panda bear balloons. <laughs> a balloon! And it was tied to like a mailbox and um, it just decided to blow out at the right moment and try to scare the crap out of me. And it was like, you know those like realistic looking balloons? You know what I'm talking about, right? Like probably nobody knows what I'm talking about. Just when do you ever though really babe? it's like that it looks like tin foil from the inside you know what i'm talking about like i'll put a picture of something i can't find a picture of the what the panda bear balloon looked like but in the dark it looked freaking realistic so i'm just gonna put a picture of a panda bear balloon in here for you you're welcome just to give you a fun little idea it's not really what it looked like it looked more realistic but i couldn't find one so yeah there you go. This is the kind of material that um, the balloon was, so. And you know like when you hit those types of balloons, they make like, <laughs> like the loudest noises ever, but they don't pop. Gosh, that's what happened when it like hit my hood and like it hit the window. So I legitimately thought that an actual animal like rammed into my car. It freaked me out so bad. And in those like 0.5 seconds, I just wanted to die and cry and pee all of the above maybe throw up a little then cry some more yeah so there you go there's the time that i i hit a panda no actual animals were harmed in the making of this video you're welcome probably worried a lot of you there maybe probably not when do you expect anything different from me anyway though I got to small group, I was fine, arrived safely, car was fine, everything was good. I walk in, they're like, how's your week? I'm like, I hit a panda! And they're like, what? And then I just, I had to explain the whole story, you know, because I'm, I'm me, so it's kind of my thing. And um, we had a good time, so yeah, there you go. I haven't seen that panda bear balloon since, I probably deflated that poor little thing. Some little girl's like, my panda bear party is ruined! Like, I don't know, I probably just ruined her life, so. You're welcome. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, turn on my notification bell so you know when I post, so you can be the first one to watch it. There you go, helping you out here. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye. What am I doing with my life?